Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Katie Samuel, your favorite snow farmer. Today, I want to show you this project that is very dear to my heart. This farm is owned by somebody who once owned close to 17 net houses, what you guys call the greenhouses. And he has transitioned into the trench housing and it's a huge project and I would take you through. Um, last night, we brought in the stock, the first phase of stock we transported them at night for a reason because we did not want to um, record so much mortality from the heat so we brought them at night by 11 pm we were here um, and then we will show you pictures and videos of how we stock them we stock them in, in short baskets and out of even this we recorded for mortality so you can imagine doing the long basket that is usually done online as you as, as you see you record so much mortality but we did the short basket so that the snails beneath will not have so much weight sitting on top of them so this is the project and um, this person who whose farm uh this is in the beginning started with forty thousand snails stock in the previous project and at a point he was even importing snails from other countries in west africa so he had close to 17 net houses or what you refer to as greenhouses and then he had some free ranges and he had the pen system that was poorly constructed and i can tell you for a fact that nothing was sold out of this farm now they have the footage i've been asking people who encounter all these issues to make a documentary and put it out there so that other people can also learn from the situation uh, but we are here to guide this farm this new farm and as you can see here we have a, a beautiful structure so we will go inside so you have a look Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that whatever information we give out, you would hear it in time. You get a notification on time so that you'll be one of the first few people to watch it. If you want to sell your snails or buy snails, you know, an intermediary so that you don't get cheated by buyers or people who, who call themselves exporters, there's a company called Miller Trust uh, Ghana that I think you can reach out to. I'll put their number on the screen and you can call them if you're a farmer, you can have then put your, your your details in their database and also if you are a frequent buyer of snails you can also reach out to them so i'll put their number on the screen so this this farm as you can see here they built their net houses with the same material that is being used today with the misinformation and i can tell you for a fact that some of the biggest net housing builders here in ghana some of them have been here. They helped in building the 17 net houses that used to be here. And they were part of the reason why this farm failed. So it's not like he used some substandard netting or it wasn't built well. And you can tell by the size of, of this farm, you can tell that the person is not poor. So the person did not use substandard materials or substandard expertise. He used the expertise that all of you are aware who aid in building this net housing here in ghana and other parts of africa and the farm failed in fact when the farm was failing some of these people still came here to come see why the farm was failing they couldn't diagnose why and it's usually because of the choice of housing you know when you get the housing right it's easy for you to understand why they are even dying if we build a trench or pen housing system and there's even mortality we can investigate why there's that mortality you see but when you're using this net housing and anything is going wrong you're never going to know just like so many other farmers who have called me about the issues with this net housing um when they are losing their snails they do not know there's zero accountability zero zero accountability so you just have hopes that you still have snail in your farm until two years time you decide you want to check how much or how many snails you have and then you realize you have almost nothing and this is not me saying it it's so much so many people have experienced it um, and there's a lady even here who has put out her story on youtube you can go check it out so, so as you can see they did the trench very well so that no insects can cross the trench and climb and come inside you can also see here that we have the wire mesh plus the mosquito net to prevent house flies from coming in because 
if you followed my training, you know that house flies cause a lot of damage. They they defecate or, or take a shit on the on the lip of the shell, hence generating or breeding into maggots, and the maggots end up killing the snails because they feed on the skin. So as you can see here, we have over 150 pence for mature snails. And then it's even interesting that this farm decided to make um, very cute pens for the for the hatchlings so that they know that if the hatchling gets to a certain size then they can move from that stage into the the normal pen size so this these are this 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 is how the, the inside looks like huge project both left and right see So yesterday we stocked. Yesterday we stocked the the pens here, and we are here uh, to see how they are faring. Stay tuned. <laughs> 